Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be showing you my creative process on how I decorated this large antler. I've been given a great opportunity to work on these antlers, but for the most part, I'm going to be showing you how I decorated the large one. I forgot to ask the client to clean the antlers first, but anyway, that's not a problem. I gave this a little bit of cleaning with water and dishwashing liquid. The reason why I wanted it clean is because I might need to use glue along the way which might not adhere when it's dirty. She probably won't care that it's not clean but I'm just thinking in advance and that it might save my life later. So I tied a piece of cord across the antlers and tied some lark's head knots. I wish I worked this fast but really this is what it actually looks like. So in this part, I started tying square knots to cover most of the skull. I'm one of those artists that don't really design things ahead of time. I like my designs to be spontaneous. Usually every time I draw and plan ahead, it doesn't work out in reality. So I like to just go with the flow and see what looks good. At this very moment, I realized that I didn't really like the flat square knots. So I started unraveling everything. Well, not everything. I just unraveled a few knots since I want to add a diamond in the middle. I think it would look cool. 48 years later, I was able to unravel, unravel just this part. Um, I'm going to do half hitches all around the diamond and then maybe a square knot in the middle. I think it looks good already. Just seeing that. So I'm gonna continue tying it. So, I'll be back. <clears throat> so this is what it looks like so far. And I honestly think that it looks better than before. Because this was just plain. But I like the diamond in the middle. What's next will be this part right here. So I tried spirals and diamonds on this area, but it didn't look good and it didn't really cover this part so I feel like I'm gonna do square knots and see if that will help you know so I tried the square knots and it didn't really work the way I wanted to be and I also tried um, the diamond pattern and it looked weird I'm gonna try something different on the sides it was still showing a bit of the skull so I um, wrapped the base around with a cord and added a different diamond pattern on top of the cord wrapped around the base. The diamond pattern was meant to cover the skull on the sides and just kind of hide it under the skull covering. But I'm still having second thoughts about it, so we'll see what happens. I figured that it looks like there's a lot going on on that part. I figured out a way on on how to work things around. So on this side is showing you what the new design looks like. So I just wrapped a cord around that at the base so it looks neater. So I just wrapped around a cord around this area to make it look like I tied some lark head, lark's head knots and I this one I just added it on top of it you know it's like a separate thing if you can picture what I mean so I just tied it in the back I don't know if you can see it but yeah I just tied it and so far I like how it's looking and then it looks cleaner so I'm gonna update you again later and to see what it looks like. 
I thought it would be nice to show you how I did it, you know, just plainly wrap a cord around the base of the antler. What's awesome about fiber art is that there are no rules to what you can do. Anyway, I just tied a super simple overhand knot around it and then I'm just gonna wrap the base around with a cord. I also want to show you how I put the separate diamond pattern on top of the antler. I figured that it might be confusing on how I put that on there, but I, it's a separate one and I just tied a simple overhand knot in the back and I grab a piece of cord to wrap around the antler like I did with the other one. So that's what it looks like. I'm just finishing up the diamond pattern so it can meet in the center. I originally tied the hanging cord on that part of the antler, but when I tried it on the wall, it didn't want to sit still because the skull was heavy, so I tied it close to the head. Then I tied additional half hitches on the inner part to fill the space. Anyway, I'm running out of storage, but I'll see you in the next video for part 2. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.